Welcome. So here we go. Uh, now we're starting to get into some fun rational expressions, right? We're getting, uh, we're getting some ones we're going to have to uh, start doing some factoring, which of course everybody loves. Um, and again, remember when dividing, we're going to change this to a multiplication problem by multiplying by the reciprocal of our divisor. So before we even get to that point, I think it's, uh, it's really important for us to first go ahead and simplify these. Now, I've already gone through a lot of factoring techniques, so I'm going to just kind of do these in my head. I will kind of explain what I'm thinking, but I'm going to do these in my head to kind of speed up the videos a little bit. So I need to factor this. I see it's a trinomial. I cannot factor out a GCF. So I'm going to have to factor the trinomial. And remember, factoring trinomials, when my a equals 1, I need to say what two numbers multiply to give me a positive 6, but then add to give me a negative 5. Well, we've actually done a couple problems like this. So it would be y minus 3 times y minus 2 all over y cubed times. Now, I'm going to reciprocate this already. All right, So I'm just going to rewrite the 4y squared up top. And then I'm going to write my um, factored form of y squared plus 3y minus 10, and now in my denominator. So here I need to determine what two terms multiply to give me negative 10, but then add to give me 3. So you can look at this, and the factored form of this would be y plus 5 times y minus 2. Okay. Now, what we notice is I could rewrite this all as one term, right? I see this multiplication, and between each one of these binomials, it's all multiplied. So if you want to combine everything together, you can do that. And I'll show you what it looks like. But because from now on, I'm really not going to cross everything together, right? It's just multiplied, so it's 4y squared over y cubed times y plus 5 times y minus 2. We can just rewrite everything together. And if I want to divide out the y squared of the y cubed, I can rewrite them over. Because it doesn't matter if it's 5 times 4 or 4 times 5. I can rearrange these any way I want, because it's all through multiplication. So when I look at this, and remember, if I have y squared divided by y cubed, remember when dividing with your exponents on the same base, you subtract them. So what I'm going to do here, though, is I'm not going to go through all that stuff. I'm just going to kind of look at this and say, all right, if I divide y squared divided by y cubed, that equals y to the 2 minus 1, which equals y to the negative 1, which equals 1 over y. right? So when looking at this, all I, I'm going to kind of do, I don't have my other marker, but I just know that this is going to divide out, and this is going to go to a 1. Then I know this y minus 2 divided by y minus 2, that divides to 1 as well. So therefore, leaving me with the only terms in the numerator is going to be a 4, y minus 3. And the only terms in my denominator are going to be y times y plus 5. Now remember, that's y to the first. But we don't need to write y to the first. We can just leave it as our y. Um, again, you can do this work to the side if you'd like to. Um, however, we've done a lot of practice with this, so I'm just trying to speed along. And all I did was just do, you know, I just divided them out, and I know that there's going to be one extra y term, so it's going to be y to the first, which leaves my y in the denominator. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you divide your rational expressions. Thanks.